Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning, and welcome to the Congregational Church. And um, we have a visitor today, and we're grateful that you stopped in to be with us this morning. It's actually a special service for us, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. But in the meantime, I'm going to invite our minister, our, our director of music, Susan Lafina, to grace us with some centering music. For those of us here in person, the state of New Jersey has lifted the COVID-19 restrictions for communal worship. Therefore, if you were vaccinated, you are not required to wear a mask or social distance from others. However, we do encourage everyone to do whatever feels safest and most comfortable for you. For a copy of today's order of worship or to view us on YouTube, uh, you can go to our church webpage, www.rccucc.com. And a reminder 
that here in this local congregation of the United Church of Christ, no matter where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. Amen. Now let us begin service with our call to worship. It can be found on page three of your bulletin. Sing a new song unto the Lord, for God has done marvelous things. Sing for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Praise God with songs and shouts of joy. Sing praises to the Lord. Play music on harps. Blow trumpets and horns and shout for joy to God our King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In Christ we have the victory. Amen. Amen. Susan, all hail the power of Jesus' name.
praises to your holy name. We come today with shouts of joy, for God is good. We stand before your majesty and mystery, your miracles and wonders. We offer up songs of praise. As the wind danced upon the waters of creation, may your spirit dance in our hearts. We thank you for the gift of music. Amen. Amen. And our opening hymn can be found in your hymnals, number 67, verses 1 and 4, or 1 to 4? 1 through 4. Let me enter God's own dwelling. Thank you. Listen to what the Spirit is saying to you. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Thank you, Ellen. And our special music today will be heard by Bernard. One God accompanied by Susan.
the capital. And our Second Testament reading today uh, will be read by Ken Jeff. Romans 12, 4 through 8. We have many parts in the one body, and all these parts have different functions. In the same way, though we're many, we are one body in union with Christ, and we are all joined to each other as different parts of one body. So we are to use our different gifts in accordance with the grace that God has given us. If our gift is to speak God's message, we should do it according to the faith that we have. If it's to serve, we should serve. If it's to teach, we should teach. If it's to encourage others, we should do so. Whoever shares with others should do it generously. Whoever has authority should work hard. Whoever shows kindness to others should do it cheerfully. Listen for what the Spirit is saying to you. Amen. 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 My message this morning is going to be very brief. I want it to be brief because I want to hear God's word in the songs we sing and feel God's presence in the music today. I wish to say that music is an integral part of our worship ministry. Since times, since the ancient times, People have sung chants and hymns and drummed rhythms to their gods. As Bernard has often said, music is a form of prayer. Music can also be a form of instruction, helping us to understand God's word. Music is also a vehicle for us to feel the spirit of the Lord. And music is also a God-given gift. Even if you can't hold a tune or you have two left feet, we can all enjoy the gift of music. And for some people, like our Susan, it is a, this gift is a vocation. So as we continue in worship this morning, take in the full depth and breadth of the holy as we continue with sacred music today. Amen. 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 Susan, just as I am.
time for the prayers of the people. It is the time at the Rutherford Congregational Church where we share our joys with one another and we share our concerns and prayer requests. We do this not because God doesn't already know our troubles. We do this so that we can pray for one another as one family in Christ. I'm going to ask those on Zoom first. Uh, and everyone in the sanctuary can see you guys, Barb and Jackie. Uh, if you have any prayer requests or any joys to share with us this week. No? No? Okay. Um, in the sanctuary, any joys to share? Alicia? So these are from Kat and I. Um, prayers for Louisiana today in the South yes. with the storm coming. Um, prayers for Kat's best friend, Nadie. She and her wife, Jess, has the coronavirus. So we're praying for them and their son. Um, Jeff and Carol, their, her other best friend, Jeff is very sick and has cancer. So we're having a tough time with Kat's friends <laughs> right now. Um, and a joy, thank you so much to my parents for an amazing two weeks in Lake George. Um, we would not have been able to do that without them, so thank you very much. That was an amazing vacation. Amen. 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 Any joys, any, come on. This is also known as the come on down section of service. <laughs> Joys and concerns this week. Last Saturday and Sunday, we did the celebration of life in Chairman of Martin's Ashes, my partner up in the Greater Maine, and uh, it gave us all a feeling of peace and the ability to move forward. It was wonderful. Um, <clears throat> tremendous joy to have had Susan's music as long as we had her. Um, really going to initiate your contributions were just at an amazing level, and uh, sorry if you missed. Best wishes for the future. Thanks for long time friends. I have much to speak with a childhood friend. You know, as we get older, they keep dying. And it's so wonderful to have some friends who have that continuity with us. This is someone I was raised with my own time with before. to see Kathy, and it was just a great joy. Um, on the concern side, continues prayers for Monica and Ray. Ray came home from the Dominican Republic with a range of, of illnesses and just spent night in the hospital, and, and Monica continues to recover. Prayers for people in Haiti, prayers for people in New Orleans, prayers for people in Afghanistan. The list just gets longer. Amen. 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 Carol, come on down. Um, two things come to my mind. It reminds us that our church, even though there's only a few of us here and we're in a small community, that things affect us all over our world and our country. Um, the, the woman who is a former member who hopes to give new homes to these two windows right here, John Lyles, who are her, she and her church are in the path of Ida. And this is going to be an interesting week, I think, for lots and lots of people in that part of the world. This morning I got a, an email from, let's see, I have to bring it up here, excuse me, um, from Beth Toronto, and she says, we are on our way back from celebrating mom and dad's anniversary. Her parents, Sheila and Bob Castles, were our interims. Bob was the interim, but Sheila was actually a major part of the ministry as well in our church in the past. They have celebrated their 62nd wedding anniversary, and uh, that and her husband Frank got to go down and celebrate with them. And lots of people from this church sent them cards, and she thanks us. Um, also, she has been asking for prayers for oddly enough, her sister-in-law, Aunt Ida, coincidental, who is now doing much better and is at home. She thanks us for our prayers. Um, I've just been away with my daughter and son-in-law for the week, which is always a delight. Um, 
I would ask for continuing prayers on a regular basis with them. My daughter is dealing, and my daughter and son-in-law, are dealing with Huntington's disease, and she is now advanced in that condition. And both of them could use our, your, our prayers daily. Do you mind? Amen. Amen. Bernard, come on down. Come close to the mic. Come close to the Am mic. I better? Yes. I rise for two reasons. One, I bring a message to Reverend Amy from a gentleman by the name of Aaron Davis, who she serves on the Reverend Paul Indian Board with. He's a cousin, and I had the pleasure yesterday to participate, sing, and work with the old church we left for a memorial service to uh, Aaron's mother. And Joan raised me from a child almost when I came into the back in 1958. Through the church, she and her sisters just about raised me. They made sure I attended church and they supported everything I had to do and they taught me all those many years. And about two months ago, as she was getting ill, she told me, just keep on doing the work that we've done. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, I had the privilege of singing and participating in a homegoing service memorial for her. And I promised Erin I would bring it up here and thank Reverend Annie and these people that always prayed for him and his family and his sister. Amen. Thank you, Bernard. Aaliyah. Aaliyah, come on down. We love to have our children in uh, worship with us at, at Rutherford Congregational Church. I want to bring to your attention my name tag. This says Pastor Annie in three-year-old if you can't read that. And the, uh, and the lectern decorations were provided by Harry. So um, our children are an important and integral part of our Amen. congregation. Amen. 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 And Aaliyah has something to share with us. I pray for my grandpa that he'll be safe. He is her and I pray for him. And I pray for my sisters, Sahara and Noelia, that they'll be safe too, and then they'll grow up and pray that everybody else. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Are there any other joys or concerns to share? If all minds and hearts are clear, I invite you to settle in your seats, breathe deeply, and feel the presence of God. I invite you to pray for those on our sick and shut-in list, and that can also be found in our bulletin, I believe, on page 7, and uh, to pray for all of those and for all the requests you've heard today. When you are finished with your private prayer, I ask that you say Amen out loud so that we can join together in the Lord's Prayer. And if we could join together in the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples.
disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Susan, if you've noticed, we have extra music today in unexpected places. I was having music this week, and I think I accidentally packed the piece that I was going to play right now, so I chose another one, and I just want you to know what it is. It's Johannes Brahms, and it's called The White Dove. Thank you. the time where we give back a small portion of what God has given to you. For those in the sanctuary, there is a collection plate at the rear of the center aisle. For those on Zoom or watching on YouTube, please take this time to log on to our website, www.rcc.ucc.com, or our website, that is our website, and click on the donate link and make your donation. Um, you can also uh, send us a check by uh, snail mail, and that would be sent to 251 Union Avenue, Rutherford, New Jersey, 07070. Attention Financial Secretary. There is no. There are all sorts of ways to give our resources uh, for the ongoing ministries of the church, in addition to your time and your talent.
six for our prayer of dedication. Generous God, you have blessed each of us abundantly. Receive the gifts that we offer today for the relief of the poor, the healing of the world, and the spreading of your good news. So that those who have much may be generous to those who have little, and may we be good stewards of all you provide. Increase these gifts that they may be a blessing to your church and to all who are in need. In Jesus' name, amen. And now we have a special moment in our worship service today, which is a special tribute to Susan. Uh, before I share a few words, I'm going to invite Bernard to sing a special song that he has picked out specifically for Susan that he would like to sing specifically to Susan. If you stand in the center, I think they can get you on camera and Bernard while Bernard sings to you. You know, I thought you were going to call that. Bernard, you have to walk behind the lectern to the mic. As you all know, I thought for that, but when I got here, I found so much love in this church. And I met a sister in Christ that as you all know, I'm very emotional, but I've learned a lot. I've been blessed a lot. Meeting this wonderful lady and becoming a friend. And this I would like to share with you. You all know it. And you can look at 460 if you can look if you want to follow me. But this I want to speak to her because I believe and I know that God's going to take care of her. Be not dismayed whatever be time God will take care of you. Be not
Well, I have, I'm standing here because I want them on Zoom to see. But, um, where's the, you know what, stand to the lectern so we can really get a good look at Susan. Susan's always behind the keyboards and up in the choir loft. And, um, I wanted to say just a few words and and, and Carol has something to share as well. On behalf of the officers and members of the Rutherford Congregational Church, I want to express our deepest gratitude for your faithful service and generous share of your talents over the years. So many people have told me how much they love your organ playing. And others have commented on the wide range of music you have brought to our congregation. As music is not my wheelhouse, I am especially grateful for your assistance during my tenure here. In addition to leading the choir, lending the con leading the congregation in song, playing anthems that filled the space, you have leaned into the technology platforms, you have recorded on Zoom, you have participated in, in, in performing on Zoom uh, virtually and have even organized a virtual choir. And leaning into that technology while sharing all of your gifts has been a blessing to us and we really appreciate that. And most importantly, you have become a friend and family member to this church. You, you linger after service to show your concern for the lives of those of us in the congregation. You take pictures during coffee hour and take the time to post them on YouTube. You have, um, have participated in the overall life of the church. And that is what we will miss most about your presence here. It's your fellowship and friendship that you've lent to so many of us. Amen. So we wish you Godspeed in your new endeavor. And may you continue to grow and flourish in your ministry. And may the people of your new congregation love you as much as we do here. God bless you. And Carol is going to say a word and present you with our token of appreciation. Uh, Susan, I think probably one of my favorite scriptures is, I believe, from one of Paul's letters, and it talks about how living a good life is like running a race. And in these last few months, most especially, this has been a race with hurdles. And your ability to adapt to work first with Ron so effectively, and then when Ron left us to transfer your talents and modify your choices of music to go with the flow as we have gone through here, to go with us through the pandemic where being able to sing those hymns with you from your living room <laughs> was vitally important to me personally and I expect to many of us in the congregation. Um, to jump around, are we home? Are we here? Are we home? Are we here? <laughs> Has just been an amazing feat on your part, and I've been very grateful and will continue to be grateful, and we will miss you. I have, I'm sure that as your race continues, that there will still be more hurdles, but I pray that you will be strong and run faithfully and serve God and this new church that has called you as well as you have served us. Thank you so much. And God bless your new Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate all the kind words.
I really did enjoy my time here. It's been three years and one month, and all through exciting times and weird times and <laughs> strange times, we've been happy and had some struggles together, but um, I, I, I do feel like you're in my family and I will miss you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And now back to work. We had a closing in. If you could all rise with your hymnals for our closing hymn number 12, I sing the mighty power of God. in August, but we will continue our jar in the back as collecting donations for Haiti through the month of September. So I urge you to consider you know, contributing there. Also, I finally, finally have the room ready for the women's retreat. And I'll be sending out the notice this week because what it's 148 dollars a night that's with our discount and minus the tax per room. So the bill I send you depends if you have one, two, or three people in your room. At least we're set and look forward to it on September 24th, 26th. Um, we still could put in a little wiggle room this year, so if there's anyone who's not signed up who's suddenly interested or free, please let me know. Thanks. And I'd like to interject for that weekend of uh, the women's retreat. We will be asking the men of the congregation, three of whom are here before. Um, Jim will also be on a different retreat, but we will be asking the men to lead a lay service here uh, while some of the women are away, that the men will uh, 
God willing, be able to lead worship on that day. Are there, oh yes, Carol. Tomorrow evening we have a book club. Uh, all are welcome in my home at 248 Washington Avenue in person. And we trust that we will also be able to zoom in some of our remote readers. Um, it, it's a book that I just absolutely love. And co coincidentally and appropriately enough, it talks about not only dealing with aging and with dying and with loving, but with the power of music. And if anybody would like to know the title, just email me and I will send it out to you. I have a, an announcement, and it really could be a joy. I received an email from our finance team that our donations and fundraising efforts for the Bethlehem summer camp in Palestine is slowly but surely making its way through the banking systems and into the uh, St. Joseph's uh, summer camp for children in Bethlehem. So our, our efforts, um, a great effort to um, not just raise money, but actually be able to get it to support this important ministry has been realized. So congratulations to the church for um, making that happen in the mission team for uh, taking leadership and making that happen. So if, are there any other announcements? If all minds and hearts are clear, please receive this blessing. As you go about your week, may you have a hymn in your heart. May the Lord of the dance play melodies in your spirit and share God's love with all you meet. Amen.
please join us in the sanctuary for raising your questions. Thank you so